Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to the last episode of our Nordic Village Let's Build. We are almost done. We just need to do some detail work on the Stave Church and a couple little things around town. Um, I was originally going to do something up this pathway, but I decided against it. So uh, this pathway will go nothing, <laughs> will go nowhere. I will put a download in the world description, so if you want to come in and do some stuff up there, feel free to do so. Send me pictures on Twitter. I love seeing that kind of stuff. But anyway, so we worked on the Stave Church last episode. We got the interior mostly completed. Um, I did a little bit of work between episodes. I basically just took these 3D wooden stairs and put them all along the roof. It's super dark right now, uh, which actually is kind of something that I want um, because this style, I, I feel like it would be very dark in here. Uh, in medieval times, so that's kind of what I want. Uh, but there are a few other things I want to do. Um, I want to add a little room over here. So we're just going to take a couple logs and build those up like so. And then our cross ends here, so right there we're going to put... Hmm, actually, let's build these out a little tiny bit more. Let's just plop a torch down for a sec so we can see. There we go. We'll do that. And then here. And there. There. Oh, but that connects. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Um. We'll so much for that idea. That was a terrible plan. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, let's just go ahead and do away with that. We'll leave this framework in place, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, one block that we're going to use a lot this episode is this carved oak wood planks. Uh, and we're going to have to... We're, actually, we're going to have to recess this anyway, aren't we? Because I want to put this back here as kind of a backdrop for our altar. Right? Which I think will look pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, and then we're just going to kind of block off this back part. Like so. I'm going to put a torch right here temporarily. Um... And we'll put more of these over here, going all the way up. And then I suppose we could actually fill this back part too. And I bet it would look fine. Let's break that out and that. And then we'll just kind of bring this up and bring those over. So we've got this kind of nice, nice little backdrop. Like, I think this actually looks pretty good. Um, that needs to stay there, I think. And then this torch, I'm actually just going to leave alone. So it'll be kind of illuminated like this, which I think is kind of cool. Like, that's, that's kind of nifty. Um, and as for other lighting in here, we could put a couple more torches, like, on these pillars. Just to kind of light stuff up inside the church a little bit more. Uh, and I think, I think we will. I think that's good. But, I don't really want to do a whole lot more with the inside of the stave church. Because I don't think, um, I, I think if we were trying to make this relatively historically accurate, I don't really think there'd be a whole lot going on. So, let's take some of these carved oak blocks and let's kind of put those in down here. As I said, we're going to be using a lot of these in today's episode as we kind of detail the stave church. When I er, when I initially built the stave church, I didn't even know these existed because Conquest, uh, this is the Conquest mod if you missed the first 15 episodes of the series or the first 14 episodes of this let's build um 
but in the conquest mod there's a lot of stuff that i'm not familiar with because uh other than one other let's build that we did right before this one i've never really used it not at least not extensively so i'm still finding all sorts of cool stuff all the time where i'm like oh that's really cool i want to use that um but what we're doing is we're just gonna add in some of this carved stuff to the bottom here uh, just to kind of add some detail and it, you know honestly it's actually relatively historically accurate as well because there were a lot of carvings and things like that uh, in stave churches and in default vanilla Minecraft and like the vanilla texture pack it would be very very difficult uh, to really kind of emphasize that particular detail. But since we're building in Conquest for this Let's Build, and we have the opportunity to do this, why not? And that just gives us kind of an extra little bit of detail. It blends in nicely, but it really kind of helps bring things together. Uh, we could also do something very similar up here, perhaps, just to kind of help add something to this area right here there we go so i think we'll do that too and it should look fine from the inside it's basically just a way for us to get a little bit of interest in that area i think we'll do the same right here there we go and then over here as well Okay, that looks good. Now, we've got these towers up here. Uh, and there's a couple of them. And I think I need oak regular stairs. There we go. Uh, and we're going to put some windows in here, I think. So we'll put a window like that. Is that right? Or is this... No, I guess that log does go. Okay, cool. So... We'll put some windows in there. Uh, and if we look at window panes, we've been using these fancy glass panes kind of throughout the village. And I think we're going to continue to do that here. Now, right here, we have kind of an interesting conundrum because we've got all this space that we want to fill. And I'm tempted to just kind of use like a cross up there, which might be all right. Like that could work. That could work. The other option would be to just go a more traditional window that's not necessarily uh, religious in nature, which also could work. And I think maybe I like that better like and it's still kind of cross-shaped it's just not super yeah i think i prefer that and that helps us kind of do something with that area up there and then maybe here we come in and do some of those carvings along this edge Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So we'll do some of that. And then we could probably do the same right here. There we go. Man, I really like that a lot. That is beautiful. Okay, that works out really well. I'm so glad I discovered this texture because we can do something similar to it with the the walls, the um, these guys right here, the carved oak wood pillars. We can do the same thing, but they're basically, they have the same properties as like cobblestone walls. So they, they do some weird things with depth and I don't know that I necessarily like it. Uh, here, 
we can do this again over here to kind of add a little bit of depth and interest, which we will. Uh, we'll do the same here. That's supposed to be a log. It. Oh, no, I see what happened. This actually needs to get filled in, doesn't it? Like that. There we go. Was that done on this side? No, no, it wasn't. Okay, good thing I checked. There we go. That's probably been driving some of you guys crazy for several episodes now. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay, so... We'll grab our carved oak blocks. And we'll just fill those in right here. There we go. And I think that's good. And then here maybe we just put a little small window. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Uh, stair, pain, pain. There we go. So we'll just kind of detail that a little bit. And now, now this church looks gorgeous. Oh, this needs to be dealt with though. Let's maybe do a little window like that. How's that look? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. So I think the stave church is essentially done at this point. Um, there's a lot more we could do to it as far as adding stuff to the inside. But I don't know that it would necessarily fit what I'm going for. And uh, I think some of that you could really just kind of, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so let's grab a few things now. We'll grab some of these various different flowers and stuff like that. And we want to kind of plant those around. And actually, let's grab some bone meal as well, because we can probably save ourselves at least some time by just bone mealing. Now, I will have to go back and get a lot of these random flowers out the uh, I hate I hate flowers in Minecraft sometimes the hitboxes see what I mean like I'm just I'm breaking things that I don't mean to be breaking hmm there, he, there it goes again either way um, you go away you go away you go away uh, am I on the there we go, got it. Okay, and then we'll plant some of these other bigger plants as well. Uh, let's get rid of these yellow flowers because we do want it to all kind of match. You know, we want we want it to all make sense. We want it to look like it fits and that this wasn't completely just like torn apart, even though it was. And then I'm just going to spam a bunch of regular grass over here. So we'll do this whole little chunk uh, basically by hand. And that feels good. Okay. And then I need cobblestone and a cobblestone slab. And we're going to put in a pathway that leads up to the stave church like so and I think that's going away yeah that feels good that feels good as a pathway we'll kind of bring that one out a little bit I think that's good. And then there's all this space back here. I'm not I'm not going to take the time to de detail all of that. You are welcome to do so if you feel so inclined. Um, I mean, I could just bone meal it. And maybe, maybe it would actually be an improvement to bone meal the whole thing. I mean, the flowers are only going to be over here as far as those particular flowers go. But, at the same time, it's probably better. Ooh, actually. 
The other option would be I could get a world edit brush and world edit stuff in, but eh, it's fine. We'll make we'll make our own little flower field with poppies and dandelions and things. It's fine. We'll just kind of do. How'd that cow get over here? I turned off mob spawning. I thought, hmm, whatever. Maybe he spawned in before I could get the chance. Uh, but that works. That works, I think. It's not terrible. We'll just kind of grow some more stuff back here as well. Uh, not right in front of the church, though. We want to leave at least a little bit of space over here. And I, if I was continuing this, I would make a path that led off and we would add more buildings and all sorts of stuff. But I really think that the stave church is kind of the grand finale for this. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to top the stave church. I think this might be one of the coolest things I have ever built. Uh, I'm very glad I decided to give this a try. This exceeded my expectations for sure. I did not think it would be... Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm blown away by how cool this thing looks from the outside, so I will take it, and I will be happy about it. Um, but we've got that detailing done. I don't think there's really a whole lot more that we need to do around the village itself. So I suppose what we should just do real quick is just kind of a, re a recap of everything we built. So we've got a couple watchtowers. This is the only one that we actually built. And then that one and that one were just copy and pasted in using world edit. We built these docks, which were the first thing that we actually built. I considered building like a Viking longship, um, but I decided not to. Just because of space constraints, it would need to be bigger than we could fit in these docks. Uh, we got a couple warehouses, one here and one over here for the docks. We've got a little marketplace area over here. Then we've got a couple of different houses. So we've got this one, little bathroom over here, some upstairs. Everything here in this village actually does have a full interior. I did do full interiors on everything. Um, we've got another little house over here, much smaller. Little bedroom, little kitchen area. Uh, we've got a little duplex actually let's show the duplex that we actually built that one was copy and pasted in with world edit just to add another building here so we got a little duplex here just really that bed is broken um there we go so you can see that bed's broken too why you break my beds world edit there you go uh so we got a little duplex little well we've got uh this is the barracks this is kind of a barracks area a little office here where the commander would be, a little war room. Upstairs we got some uh, storage and goodies and things like that. And then up at the very top there's some beds for sleeping. Then the barracks has like a little training area right here since it's right in front of the barracks. I figured that was fitting. There's a little well over here, some rope uh, holding up the bucket. That is That was connected to here before that was connected directly to the top why it isn't anymore i'm not sure um let me see if i can fix it real quick because that is a little sad oh no i broke a thing oh you know what it was it probably got a block update when i put that lamp down I'll bet you that's what happened. So let's see. We would need that rope to go here. And this rope to go up here. And then we can break those and put those back. And now, yeah, now you can see that goes into the ceiling like it's holding up the bucket. Uh, I had a little lantern hanging here, but I'm I'm going to leave that alone because I think it would cause a block update that would cause that thing to get messed up. Uh, this is our duplex that we just looked at. Over here, we've got an, uh, a blacksmith, which I think is a pretty cool little build. A lot of metal and stuff. We got our forge over here, all sorts of goodies. And I think, I think that's everything. 
thing. Did I get this house? Yes, I did. That was the relatively small one. Yeah, that is basically it. So that is the Nordic Village, and I think it came together really, really, uh, really well. Not bad for 15 episodes. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and this series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.